Hi darlings, this is going to be for my Pisces. And this is just a little weekend check-in, okay? This is going to be for the 25th and 26th of March. I'll be using my Robin Wood tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using tarot with keywords. So Pisces, let's see what messages we have for you. Five of Pentacles, Mindset of Lack. You might have lost something or might have lost some money. But this is just temporary, okay? The next card is the Emperor. Now, this may be a fatherly figure if it's in your environment that you can turn to for help. And the Eight of Cups. You're thinking of leaving it all and just walking away abandoning everything behind the four of cups still thinking about it the queen of wands now this could be a fire energy within your environment this could be a leo a aries or a sagittarius or you could just be a kind of fun person you know pretty loyal straightforward then the seven of pentacles you planted something and you're watching it grow now and darling you're the magician or darlings you are the magician and the two of wands you're longing for something what are you longing for the four of pentacles money you planted something though <clears throat> something you invested in <clears throat> so the four pentacles here could mean that you will eventually find balance financially or whatever you have you're holding on to very tightly or this could even be someone in your environment someone in your life that um is not good for you but you refuse to let go you know, it's not healthy for you, but you don't want to let go of it. So let's see. The Five of Pentacles. On top of the Five of Pentacles is the Queen of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles again. So the Queen of Swords says, the Queen of Swords is telling you to make judgments without emotion. Take inventory of all the facts before making a decision and come to an intellectual conclusion. You want to be compassionate, but you have to think with your head rather than your heart right now. Or this could be an energy within your environment who made you lose some money. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And you did lose some money. So then the emperor. Let's see the emperor here. Now this could be an Aries within your environment. Or just someone who is financially stable who can help you right now. The moon, you're not seeing things clearly. And the Ace of Cups. So the moon is telling you that things may not be as they seem. Trust your instincts to see past these illusions. You may also be experiencing mood swings, dormant insecurity or, ins or instability. If you're waiting for an answer, then be prepared to wait. So things are to stand still right now. 
And the Ace of Cups, let go of emotional baggage. That is probably why things are at a standstill. A lot of times we hold on to this crap from back here and we bring it forward here and we expect things to work or, or go according to plan. And it doesn't happen like that because we got all that crap, you know, so we need to heal it. So let go of any emotional baggage that is weighing you down and start truly living your life. This is your opportunity for a fresh start or a new relationship. Whether or not you choose to take the cup and drink from is up to you. So the moon and the ace of cups. So you can ask for help or you can choose not to. And something you're going to walk away from. You want to leave it behind. The lovers and the page of cups. You want to leave this Whatever the situation is behind. You might want to leave it behind for someone else. The card says, the lover's card says, the upright position signifies decisions and relationships. The tem temptation of the heart or a choice of, of personal partners. A selection will need to be made that should not be taken lightly. You need to determine what is truly important to you and hold to your beliefs. Then the Page of Cups, you need to listen to your heart and go with all things sentimental and romantic. So it's up to you. You need to do some thinking. The lovers and the page of cups. Then we have the four of cups here. You're thinking. You're doing some thinking. You are the magician. And the five of swords. There's conflict. The card says that you are the one stirring the pot. You may think you've won. But all you've done is created a hostile environment and made an ass of yourself. Not my words, the card. I'm sorry. Or I apologize, I should say. I gotta stop saying the word sorry. Focus on repairing the damage before it's too late. Because your repetition is on the line. What's more important to you? Being right or isolating yourself from others or from everyone else? So it's up to you, this conflict. You're thinking, you're very magical right now. So you might not want to have a conflict. You got a lot of stuff going on here. You got choices to make and decisions to make. And there's the Queen of Wands. Got a Queen of Swords up here and Queen of Wands down here. Is that the one you're leaving behind? And the Four of Swords. You need to rest. It's time to relax. You've had enough. Just relax for a little while. Okay? And the fool. Once you relax and you get yourself together, your head together, there will be a new beginning. You got the four of swords and the fool. And the seven of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. You got a new beginning for sure coming. It's the end of a cycle for you. You got the Fool and you got the Death card. It's for sure something ending. And the beginning of something new. A transition. You're shedding the old to bring in the new. And the six of pentacles. You'll be giving and receiving. You will Financial balance will be restored. You have to believe. You have to trust yourself. And like I said, you are the magician. And you are the magician here too. So let's see. The Three of Cups, Celebration, 
and it's coming really fast. I got the Eight of Wands. Celebration and the Eight of Wands. Something is coming really fast towards you. Something you're longing for. Something you're longing for. The Eight of Cups. You're still thinking about walking away. But you're longing for unified love. Are you walking towards a new love? Is that the new beginning? Is that the celebration? Not bad. I mean... The upright appearance of the Two of Cups indicates a strong partnership or connection built on equality and mutual respect. You're receiving positive energy, so be sure to share it with others. So I guess in the direction you're going, it's pretty good direction. Now we got the four pentacles here. So what is going on here? You got the king of wands and you got the chariot. So the king of wands is a natural born leader of people and very capable and confident of their abilities. And very capable and confident in their abilities. The king isn't interested in creative creativity per se, but rather taking an idea and enlisting others to help in the actualization of it. You have a clear vision of what you want. You know what you want. And that vision is coming really fast. You got to make decisions. Time to make those decisions are coming fast. Okay, I love you guys. Take care of yourself and remember to trust you. Listen to that voice inside. It will lead you right. All right. Bye.